everyone, Nigel Saunders here. My greenhouse is very close to being finished. It's, it's a good feeling. Um, let's go back in time to earlier this morning and I'll take you through one of the last days of greenhouse construction. It is early in the morning, the start of a new day. I've got all my trim pieces sorted here, the ones that go around the windows, sorted by length, shape, you know, some have a triangular cut on the top, some have an angle cut. There's short ones, there's medium sized ones, and then there's the standard length. So I'll be doing a lot of screwing together of trim today. The greenhouse, all the walls are fogged up in it, and it looks very different. Instead of seeing through the walls, it's almost like they're opaque, and you, it really defines the size of the greenhouse. So yeah, it looks quite different than being able to see through all the walls. So I'm going to get to work. I've got to clean all these pieces up. You can see they're a little dirty, some of them. Scrub them up and I've got to start screwing them in place. Now I do have the Rogers Jayco Light crest to go up. Sort of the finishing touch up at the peak, so I'll do that now. Good and solid up there. Okay. So it officially has been branded as the Jayco Light Rogers Greenhouse established. 1964. I'll work on a little more trim at the front and then I can put the doors in place. I've got all the trim on the front face of the greenhouse now. The big symbol up top, the corner gussets, all the trim around the windows. So now I can bring the doors out and start putting them in place. I did bring a couple of trees out here. I brought my Sarissa out and put it in the glass greenhouse and the ficus, the Toronto ficus that's going to be auctioned. And there's some exciting developments on it. If you look down here, you can see new roots growing across the surface of the soil. There's a new root there. So very exciting. And I see there's buds swelling on the tips of the branches. So I think, you know, with some good weather, some good care, it's going to leaf out hopefully soon. I've got the two doors out here. I'll have to get them cleaned up. The top has rollers and it runs up in that track and the bottom part has a slide that fits into that piece of aluminum down there to slide back and forth. So I'll get them cleaned up and then uh, slide them in place. I'm going to try sliding the doors in now. This one first and then the next one. So I'll slide them all in from the one end. All right, here I go. Okay, it was a bolt holding it. I have got the two doors in place. I was a little confused there. This plate, it goes behind the other door. I can see by the rubbing. I thought it had to fit in the slot here, so I was 
a little confused. So they close nicely. Yeah, so the doors are in place. That is awesome. Let's go inside. Oh, I can already feel it's warmer in here. So I gotta put the handles on the inside here. And I think that is it. It is a sealed up greenhouse then. Wow, it's gonna get hot when the sun comes out. So the sun is just going behind the white pine here. So once it travels across to here, it's gonna get awfully hot in here. I can always keep the front doors open. That'll help cool it. The vents, they're already opening up here. So that'll help cool it. So we'll see, we'll see what it's like. We'll see if these plants like it in here. Let's head into the greenhouse and I'll show you the parts I have still to put on. So all I have to do now is put all these strips on that go up you know between the windows and kind of clamp them in place that's about it and then you know the ones up the back wall the ones on the roof rails so there's a lot to put on but you know it's a fairly simple procedure you just screw them all in place and so i'll work away at that i'll try and get the side walls first and then i'll do the back wall and then i'll work my way up to the roof I've got all the retainer pieces or trim pieces on this side now, so I'm gonna start on the far side. The sun is kind of shining directly in the greenhouse here, even though it's kind of clouded over, but uh, it's warm and humid in here. It feels really nice. It's like uh, when you step in from outside, it feels like you're stepping into the tropics. It's really nice, but it's not too hot. It just feels humid. It feels really good for plants. So that's good so far. I mean, this isn't direct sunlight, but it's, I don't know, I'd say it's probably 75%. Kind of clears up right now. It's kind of getting direct sun here. Yeah, I think the plants will really like it. It hasn't slowed down these aerial roots growing across the surface of the soil at all. They're just growing really well out here. Good to see. Everything is done on the greenhouse now, except for the retainer strips on the roof panels. That's all I have left. My parts bin is dwindling down to just a few strips now. It is so nice here in the greenhouse compared to outside. It's starting to cool off outside a bit. So I'm going to bring my very first bonsai, my ficus microcarpa that I grew from a seed into the greenhouse. Okay, that is in the greenhouse. Yeah, it looks good there. Okay, I'll give it a misting. There it is, my very first bonsai ever <laughs> in the greenhouse. It looks great in here. It looks like it's in a museum or something. It's so nice in here. So that's awesome. Awesome to see. I'll be building a wooden box to replace the 3D printed pot. I'll make it the exact same dimensions. So I'll take the ficus out of this pot into the new pot. And then I'm going to fix this pot up. I'm going to put a aluminum plate on the bottom, screw all the plastic pieces to it, get rid of the warping, just, you know, make it really nice. So I think, and then, you know, I can put it back on its feet, the little legs that it sits on, and yeah, hopefully put it in a show someday. I also brought my ficus fancy in here, giving it the nice humidity in here and warmth. I think it'll grow better than outside. It's getting quite cool. So you can see I've got four trees on this one bench and you know, they comfortably fill it. I could fit a lot more in between and stuff, but you know, if you wanted to make a nice display, it would take about four trees to fill that bench. 
It's full sun now, and one thing I noticed is the sun is reflecting off the front of the greenhouse here, and it's lighting up my studio area out there, which is really cool. That's like an added bonus to get some nice lighting late at night. So that's awesome. I'm going to give all the trees in here a watering with fertilizer. All right, here I go. Do this one first, it needs it. That's a good flow rate to really thoroughly water the soil. You want to put the water on faster than it can drain out the drainage holes. That way it fills the pot with water, thoroughly soaks the soil and then drains out. If your watering can is too weak, so you're only dribbling it on, it doesn't get up underneath the roots. You've got to fill that pot with water. So you got to, the water has to go in faster than it drains out the pot to really get a good thorough watering. All right, time for the ficus to get some water. You can see the excess water running through the pots and down into the gravel section there. Like that. So that's working really well. That'll give a lot of humidity to the greenhouse and I don't have to walk on the wet areas. It'll stay on the dry concrete here. Yeah, that should work out well. I was thinking that I could even place trees along the gravel, kind of create a double-decker tiered system. I think they would get enough light, they would get more light than they would get indoors, that's for sure. So yeah, I, I think that would uh, really increase the number of trees in this greenhouse. I could have the double-decker on the floor, on the shelves. I was just looking at the ficus that will be auctioned off and up on this branch right here there's new buds coming out there's a whole bunch on the branch that is a good sign there's even some over here that's awesome once that branch gets its leaves in the tree will look much better so yeah I'm glad I think it's gonna look good by mid-December, I hope. <laughs> I hope it looks very ficus-like. I have lots more planned for this greenhouse. I've gotta get a temperature gauge, a humidity gauge. I've gotta hook up some kind of a misting system for the summer. It'll be really fun kind of adding to this greenhouse and making it even better. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.